Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today is uh, National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Behind me are the faces of 135 men and women, the faces of those who paid the ultimate price serving and protecting us this past year so that our families, our children, can live and enjoy our freedom. As you can see, freedom isn't free. You may know or may not know or recognize these faces, but you know the faces of others who have served or that are serving today. They are the faces of our brothers, our sisters, mothers, fathers, and friends. Some were ambushed and executed. Some lost their lives responding to a call to save a life, someone who called for help. Tacoma Police Officer Jake Gutierrez from my home state of Washington is one of the faces behind me. He lost his life in the line of duty just last month while trying to protect a woman from domestic violence. Jake was supposed to exchange wedding vows with his fiancée in just a few weeks. Instead, she and his three daughters and granddaughter attended his funeral and tried to picture a life without Jake. Tragically, again last month, a time meant for celebration was, was filled with another Washington family's sorrow. Veteran Officer Mike McClowry from Mount Vernon Police Department was shot in the head while responding to a call for help. Today, his children, his wife, and his friends and family sit by the hospital bed that he's laying in, and his night life now hangs in the balance in the hands of God and his doctors. This feeling of loss is one that I am also familiar with. In 1982, my partner and best friend, Sam Hicks, was shot to death attempting to arrest our murder suspect. He left behind a wife and five sons. That was over 30 years ago. But the loss of a, a loved one is a, is, a, is a pain that cannot be forgotten, cannot be erased. This National Day of Appreciation is not only a day to appreciate the service of those who have served, but those that are serving today. They are driving, walking, patrolling your neighborhoods, keeping us safe. They're ready to put their life on the line, yes, every day. But every day they do so much more, so much more for us that goes unnoticed. The officer that took the stolen bike report on a Christmas day and the next day delivered a new bicycle to that little boy's home. How about the officer who anonymously buys groceries for the needy family? The officer who counseled a little girl who was being bullied because of the clothes she wore and then bought her a new set of clothes. Or how about the officer who called, who, who went to a call where he had to cradle a two-month-old baby in his arms, giving CPR to his little fragile blue face, hoping for the best news, fearing the worst, getting the worst, and then headed off to his next call or the officer that held the hand of a dying man after a motorcycle accident and then sharing his last words with his family. The officer who was spit on, ridiculed, and insulted by a man threatening to kill the officer and his wife, then minutes later saving that same man from taking his own life with a butcher knife. These men and women are coaches, they're volunteers, they're mentors, they're helping people find jobs, they feed the homeless, they help them find homes and sometimes even taking them into their own homes. These are real people. They are your neighbors. They are your friends and they are us. This is not a job for them. It's a calling. They serve because they want to help. They want to make a difference. They serve with a heart of a servant. On this day, let's take a moment to appreciate all members of the law enforcement community across this nation and their families by putting a blue light or on your front porch. This is not just a sign of appreciation for law enforcement across this country, but a sign, a small symbol of unity for us all. We need that now in our nation more than anything. Help us remember that we are one nation under God, that we are indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now, most people don't know but I'm a big James Brown fan. And I really like 
the way he puts it, and not a so well-known song from the 60s about America. He says, America is the greatest country in the world. He repeats it, America is the greatest country in the world. He says, now black and white, they may fight, but when the enemy comes, we get together and we run them out of sight. This is a black man in the 60s with these positive words about our country. Mr. Speaker, I say this. I say that we take James Brown's words, we take his advice, and we get together because the enemy is here. That enemy is hate. We get together and we run it out of sight. And now, Mr. Speaker, just a moment of silence, please, for two officers who were killed in Florida just today on National Law Enforcement Day. Two more officers killed today, just hours ago. A moment of silence, please.